All right, so what we're showing today is how to identify an unknown polymer. So we have two unknown polymers. One's right here, and then there's another right here. And what we have here is a flow chart on how to identify an unknown polymer. So what we're going to do is we're going to set up our vials here with certain substances. As you can see on here, we've got to use water. I use 10% sodium chloride, saturated sodium chloride, 46% isopropyl alcohol, and then vegetable oil. And so we have these set out over here. And we're going to set it up just like we have it on our chart here. So right here we're going to put water. And here is our 46% isopropyl alcohol. We're going to put that right here. Notice how I have a different pipette in each one of my substances. This is so we don't contaminate one substance with another. And then we have vegetable oil. And then 10% sodium chloride, which we'll put right here. And then saturated sodium chloride, which we're going to put right under there. So what we've done is we set up these vials to mimic our flow chart. So now that we can test the two unknown polymers that we've been given, which again are right here. And so obviously we're going to start right here. We're going to start with water. So we'll start with this sample first. So let's put this in and see what it does. What we're looking to see is does it float or does it sink? So as you can see here, it floats. So since it floats, we can follow our flow chart. If it floats, we then move on to the isopropyl alcohol. And we're going to see if it floats or sinks again. Notice again we're taking a different sample. We're going to put it in the isopropyl alcohol. And it's sunk right to the bottom. So that tells us that the polymer that we have here is HDPE. Now if that would have floated, we then would have moved over here to the vegetable oil to test to see if it was LDPE or PP. So, okay. so now we're going to look at our other unknown sample, which is right here. So we're going to put that in the water, see what it does. Now one thing that, um, that we've noticed in testing these is that sometimes one of the great properties of water is that it um, causes surface tension. So the adhesion property of waters, you need to poke, it, poke on to make sure um, that it's not surface tension that's holding up your polymer as opposed to it's just floating. So this is the first one we did here. And you can see no matter what I do here, it's going to float. This other one, uh, when I first put it in, the surface tension, because it's light and it's oddly shaped, um, it kept the polymer up. But as you notice, when I manipulate it a little bit, if I can break that surface tension, it sinks to the bottom. And so that's something you have to pay very careful uh, attention to during your event to make sure the, the reason that it's floating has to do with the polymer um, density as opposed to the surface tension of the water. Okay, so this uh, this polymer, this unknown polymer sinks, and so if it sinks in water, then we then move down to the NaCl, which is right below it. So again, we're going to drop it in there, and right now it looks like it's trying to float. We want to make sure, because if it floats, it's going to be PS. If it sinks, it's going to be something else. So we're going to make sure that it's not surface tension. And as you can see, once I play with it a little bit, it um, sinks straight to the bottom and doesn't try to float back up. So then, since it's since it sank, we're going to go then to saturate it, which is right below that. We're going to put that in. Again, we see that it seems to want to float. So again, we're going to try to make it sink by breaking the surface tension. And as you can see, this time it wants to float. So since it is floating, 
then we know that it must be PC or PMMA. Stop. So since at this point we are at PC or PMMA, the event leader or person running the event would then give you a description of the flame test so that you could then distinguish whether this polymer is PC or PMMA.